Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life Christmas in July. This is our second Christmas Carol of the Month, and we will be doing Away in the Manger. Before we start, I want to thank my patrons. Uh, they have truly been a blessing to me. It is because of the patrons that these lessons are available to everyone. So if you're taking these lessons, if this is a part of your learning process, it is because there are those who have a heart and by the way, that, that is what I am so thankful for in the patron. It is their heart of giving, their heart of, in many cases, sacrifice. And I know that. Uh, sacrifice and their generosity, just, just so that others can also have these lessons and that they are just giving back. And that just means the world to me. So thank you, patrons, for that. I do appreciate those, everyone taking the lessons. Uh, for those who have subscribed on YouTube, those who are sharing the lessons, and to those who are recommending me for festivals and workshops. It is just very, very much appreciated. So thank you so much. I do hope these lessons are a blessing to you, and I hope these Christmas carols will in turn be a blessing to others as you play them at Christmas time. So let's get started on Away in the Manger. Our first note is going to be on the left side of our treble bridge. It's a D. And I want you to watch how simple this really is. I'm just going to play the basic melody. So I'm playing D, D, B, A. So let's get started. I want you to see how simple this is. Our first melody note is on the left side of the treble bridge. sing that in your head, you're going to find what notes you're going to play double. B, D, C, B, B, A, G, G, F sharp, E, D. We're going to lead up to this D. And We've talked about this so often. You're going to play the D with your left, then D with your left, the D on the right side of the treble bridge. Your right hand is going to play the F sharp, and then your left hand is going to play that D again. And you'll play those three notes like a triplet, so just very fast. Quick run up. So D, D, F sharp, D. I'm also letting this right hammer bounce. You don't have to. Just gives a little more pizzazz. <laughs> now, you have time for two more notes. So, you could actually come back down, hit the F sharp and the D again. Like that. Let me slow everything down. you can do, which I kind of like better. So I'm doing the D, the run up to D, coming over catching this A, and then D. Then your C. And down to the B. Now, when you're playing this down, you have you have a couple things you can do. You can use this triangle and you could drone using this D. And you could even use this D all the way down. Sorry. So I'm going to suggest something else, but you can do it. The reason this works in this scale is we had talked that the fifth note of your scale goes with every note in your scale. The 
find this note, which is a D, on the left on the bass bridge, you go straight across, mark to mark, and up one. So this is also the fifth note. So what you can do is and then when you move down, I would suggest moving down and using this fifth note in this triangle, which is an A. And then when we come down to this D, we're going to go to the bass bridge and use the lower octave D. And when we hit this D, we're going to then do a left flag back to the D by playing the D, the F sharp, the A, back to the D. Lots of repetition. Then you're going to hit that again. So again, it's going to sound like this. Uh, let's go from here. Might as well just start. Here's our, our left flag. I think if we put it in, you'll hear it. sure all that is memorized before we move on. Then E, D, D. Up to the A, F sharp, E, And you could drone if you want on this D on the bass bridge. Oh, I'm sorry. You could drone on this D. I kind of like the lower one, but again, mix it up. That's the idea of this, mix it up. So, one more time before we move on, make sure all that's memorized. And it doesn't mean you have to drone every note. Because you'll hear that ring behind the, the melody. So we're going to go back up to this B. And when we come to this B with our left hand, we're going to do another triangle. So our left hand's going to play B, our right hand's going to play D, our left hand's going to play G, and then B. So we've actually played two phrases. Here's your first phrase.
here's our second phrase. Our third phrase is identical to the first phrase. So let's play that straight through. our last phrase. We're going up to C. And there's several things you could do. You could just go. Which is very simple. And what you're playing there is just C, C, B A B A G B A E F sharp D. But I think we want to go a little fancier than that. So let's play it this way. Our left hand's gonna play C C C C E A B A again C C E A B A R left left right left right left C C E A B A Make sure you get that down If you need to stop or put it on pause, that's fine, do that, but make sure you get that down. Then, we're just lowering that pattern. Notice that the first note, the melody note, is louder than the rest. So, from the beginning. Again, I just played it two different ways. So again, this is the third phrase. So that time I went. Let's just stick with that. And move it down. And you're playing A, E, F sharp, G. So I'm going to play it one last time for you. And notice you don't have to over embellish this at all. And, you know, I had you do this. You could only hit this note once if you want, which to me sounds prettier. Uh, and I'm not counting, I'm just playing by how I'm feeling and how I want the song to sound. So.
So I hope you enjoyed that lesson. And again, that gives you six solid months to get these tunes down. And uh, I do pray that they will be a blessing to others as you share them with your friends, with your family, with your church, wherever you happen to play these tunes. Thank you for watching. Thank you again, patrons. We will see you next week. Actually, next week is patron exclusive, and the tune will be uh, I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas, but we will see everyone else the following week for our last tune of Christmas in July. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon.